Welcome to my channel, Honey with Maserati, and scripture writing by Honey. I am going to be doing day seven of the day, not day seven, sorry, day five of the daily scripture writing. So before we begin, I'd like to tell everybody welcome. Please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. So I'm going to grab water real quick. Sorry if you could hear that. It's not an ASMR video, believe me. Okay, so I'm just showing you, you know, I'm already at the verse. So it's going to be all of this and then a little bit of this. So before we begin that, I want to show you the beginning, which is the Micah 7, 1 through 7. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that off. And not only am I going to do that, I'm going to take this orange highlighter, which is the Mr. Sketch Scented. To me, it smells like alcohol, not like anything good. So I'm not really impressed with it, but I do like the orange color. It does bleed, but I mean, I try to go as light as I can. So you can find this list by Rachel Hujo, W-O-J-O. It's the Bible reading plan and journal challenge. She had it for a different month, but I just love that it's purposeful pause. So I'm doing it for January 2020. You can do whatever you choose, like for the month, focus on whatever you're focusing on. This is what I'm focusing on right now. And yeah, so we already have all these pages done. Now is day seven. So this is a very pretty good long one. So I may just pause, you know, for a few and then come right back. But I'm going to read the Bible with you. It says, Israel, Israel's misery. What misery is mine? I am like one who gathers summer fruit. At the gleaning of the vineyard, there is no cluster of grapes to eat. None of the early figs that I crave. The faithful have been swept from the land. Not one upright person remains. Everyone lies in wait to shed blood. They hunt each other with nets. Both hands are skilled in doing evil. The ruler demands gifts. The judge accepts bribes. The powerful dictate what they desire. They all conspire together. The best of them is like a bearer, the most upright worse than a thorn hedge. The day God visits you has come. The day your watchmen sound the alarm, now is the time of your confusion. Do not trust a neighbor. Put no confidence in a friend. If you cannot trust your neighbor or a friend, that is terrible. Like, we, we should be putting all of our trust in the Lord. But you should be able to trust a friend or a neighbor. Even with the woman who lies in your embrace, guard the words of your lips. For a son dishonors his father, a daughter rises up against her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies are the members of his own household. But as for me, I watch and hope for the Lord. I wait for God, my Savior. My God will hear me. And that's exactly true. Like, that is 100% true. Like, we're waiting for the Lord, and He does hear us. Um, he gives us the tools that we need, and then we have to, you know, abide by, of course, the laws. But He is there for us. He has never forsaken me. So with that being said, how is everybody doing? And how is your scripture writing going? Even with, and I talked about it in the last video, I'm not going to go all the way into detail. Even with me being in the hospital, I am still out here doing scripture writing. And that says a lot because I want to be dedicated to one you, well no, one being the Lord. Two, being my uh, subscribers. And three, myself. Like, 
I want to keep scripture writing. And yes, life can bring you some craziness, but it's up to you to actually do it. It's up to you to scripture write. And this may not be your thing, and I know that. So if you're not here for that on my main channel, I have other videos that you can watch. But I hope, you know, one day it will touch you. And you would love to do scripture writing as well. But again, if this is not your thing, it is okay. One day I hope it is. And for the ones that love to scripture write, the ones that don't understand why we scripture write, is one of my comments. And for me, it's to grow closer with the Lord. As I'm reading the scripture, I'll understand it. As I'm writing the scripture, I'm still reading it. So I get a better understanding. Later on, I can look back at, say in January, 5th of 2020 and January 5th of 2019 I can look back at the difference of what I wrote and then not just what I wrote but like I could look at how many years that I've been doing this and I can go back and read what I wrote I don't know it just gives me a satisfying feeling like I did something And not only can you do this, you can go and dig deeper into the book. Find a word that you do not understand while you're reading and just study that. You would be amazed of like what you've learned. This is not school. It's not for me to teach you anything. It's me, well, if you're learning something from this, that's great. It's me just reading the word to you. And as I'm reading it, I'm writing it. And to me, I think this is no better way than somebody learning this. So I guess that is kind of teaching. I don't know, I just love scripture writing. And again, like I said, it's not for everybody. But it took somebody to show me it in order for me to love it. Because I was not picking up the Bible to read it. I'd be like, oh, I'm going to read this chapter. I'd start, fall asleep, not understand what I'm reading. And then I would do it the next day. And then I just gave up. And then one day I started watching somebody's video and i don't know who it was i never take notes you know like when i see something i'm interested in i should take notes but i don't and i was watching the lady's video and she was about to scripture write and i'm like what is scripture writing and then i found out about the war you know room. so i got intrigued with that and again it only takes the one person to do it and then you draw interest in it and you're like, wow, you can do a war room? Wow, you can do a, sorry, I just got like a crazy itch. And I'm like, wow, you can do that? And then like, wow, people are scripture writing? Like, what is scripture writing? And then you go and that's when you do all your investigations and you learn about it. And then you're like, I like that. I love to write. I want to learn, well let me do this, and then ever since I've been doing it. And then on top of that, when you find out about a war room, I did a war binder. Um, actually it was a happy planner that I turned into a war binder. So I guess you would call it a war planner, I guess. And then I just did a war bag. So we're going to keep everything related to prayer, um, just everything, into that bag. So when I go to a special room or I go into the French room, 
It's me in the bag. So that is why I scripture write. Because I learned from one person what it meant to scripture write. And then I took it, ran with it, because I was like, I actually like it. And I was not filming it at the time when I started doing it. Was not filming any scripture writing at the time. Oh, what did I just mess up at? Pride is powerful. Dictate what they desire. Okay, so I did not mess up. That's great. So yeah, so that was the reason why I scripture write. Just by watching somebody and... I didn't know that that was a thing either. Like, I didn't know there was a scripture writing. I didn't know there was a Facebook group for scripture writers. Um, there's now a Facebook group, and it's probably been for a while. Um, Bible journaling in your Bibles. I didn't think you can do that. I thought that was a bad thing. Like, you don't touch the holy word. Like... And then look, you learn little things. Each thing teaches you something. So if you take anything from my channel for scripture, is to scripture write, read the Bible, study the word. Like, it's an awesome thing. So after I get done with this one, I'm going to pause the video and then I will be right back. Only because I think this is going to take a while. Because they look like a small 1 through 7, but it is pretty, pretty long. I don't want to take your whole day out. I did show a book in the last channel, the last channel, the last video. I don't know why I keep saying that. And it is devotional for women for the day. Like, you have 365 or 366. No, 365 it should be. But this year is a leap year. So, with that being said, if you want to do devotionals, let me know. And leave it in the comments below. And I'm going to stop this video real quick and come back. Okay, so now I'm back. So now I'm at the point where it's, you know, the mother-in-law, the daughter-in-laws are against the mother-in-laws, the man. Um, a man's enemies are the members of his own household, which is crazy. Now I'm on the last verse and says, but for, but as for me, I watch and hope, watch in hope for the Lord. And I like that saying that says, oh, let me grab it because I'm going to mess it up. Um, okay, I know I have it. Okay. Choose yourself this day. Choose for yourself this day. Whom will you, whom you will serve? But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And I love that. And it's Joshua 24, 24, 15. And I love that saying. Steven, did you just come in? So yeah, so this is pretty much it. So as I'm writing the last part of it, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. And yeah. So if you have any questions about scripture writing, leave it in the comments below. And if you have any other questions, leave it in the comments below. And I will be willing to answer anything that you have. So again, thank you for watching. Talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.